energetics of a nuclear reaction. Uh, and this is where that famous equation E equals mc squared comes into play. Very famous one that if you see a movie and they have crazy formulas written on the board, this is one of them. All this means, it's a really simple equation. It's not as crazy as people make it sound. Here's mass. M is mass. E is energy. Mass and energy are interconvertible. So when you took your first class, Chem 2A, you learned that the conservation of mass as like a law, the law of conservation of mass. If you're in my class, I told you this is not true, but I'm teaching it to you anyways. Here is a more true statement. The law of conservation of mass and energy. So mass and energy are both conserved, but mass and energy are interconvertible. So in a sense, you know, you could, uh, you know, if you had such power, convert to energy and convert to some other mass or back and forth. Okay? So uh, that's why after the Big Bang there was so much energy, that energy condensed into mass. So that's where the mass came from, or matter as we know it. C is the speed of light that you've also seen before. Uh, that is, if you forgot, C is 2.9979 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. So it's a pure conversion. C is a constant. So you can have, know the mass, you convert into what the energy is, and vice versa. Uh, and this is where nuclear reactions come into play. You're converting mass into energy, and vice versa when you do a nuclear reaction. Uh, so there's either a gain or a loss of mass, and that gives off a ton of energy. Okay? So there's a loss of mass, there's a gain in energy. Uh, there's a couple, before we do an example problem so you can see how this works, I need to give you a couple of conversions. These will be given on the test, uh, the relevant ones. One mega electron volt is 1.6022 times 10 to the minus 13 joules. One U, what's a U? It's an atomic mass unit. Sometimes you write it AMU. Or it can be written U. It's an atomic mass unit. That's 931.5 mega electron volts. So an electron volt is another common unit that people use. This is equal to 1.6605 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms. Uh, and this is equal to 1.4924 times 10 to the minus 10 joules. So notice what's interesting here. If you have a mass, you can just convert to joules. And here's the conversion. So you can convert easily between mass and energy. Uh, and that's what we're going to do when we do our example problem.